There's a room full of dogs. Hey, Diesel. Hey, Diesel. Say good morning. Say good morning. All right, guys. It's time to go out. Weather's nice. We are taking the motorcycle to work today. And it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be hot. Well, it's off to work we go. I still need to get a new helmet. <laughs> I've got my my ATV helmet on, but it's DOT approved, so it'll work. My other helmet was wrecked by a mouse built a nest right inside my helmet so I can't put that on my head anymore so I have this one it looks uh, a little off on this bike but that's okay we're gonna get a new helmet as soon as we can but for now this will work gotta get to work morning time. Whew. The ride into work was actually really nice and comfortable. It's gonna be a nice ride in this afternoon when everything's just perfect. The sun will be shining. It'll be like 30 some degrees Celsius. What a perfect day to go riding. But first, we gotta get some work done. We gotta do some trucking. Headed up to Harburg again today. They're gonna get sick of seeing my face up there yet. X. Or maybe they miss me, huh? <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I've been up there. Maybe they need a good refresher of what I look like. I gotta hook onto a step deck roll tight and uh, make my way up there. Here. What's that? 
was a deer in the, oh boy, somebody hit Bambi. Oh boy, I, I would, I'd be expecting more geese to be hit here, not a deer. I guess the geese are smarter than the deer, they stay off the road more. Yeah, they're not even around here anywhere. Huh. Not even in their little water hole, oh, those are ducks. I guess they don't like me anymore. That's fine, didn't like them either. Just about done loading here. It's taken a little bit of time, as you can see. It's been a little bit of a challenging, more challenging load today. They're just finishing up there. And we've got another piece, those uh, pieces right down there to go on the back yet. And this is going all the way out to Drummondville, Quebec. Out east to French land. What a day. Uh, just about six o'clock and we're just coming up to our favorite intersection. Still gonna park this trailer, bring in our paperwork. Get everything packed up, get my bike ready to go. <laughs> it seemed to go by pretty quickly, but... What's this intersection gonna be like? Actually, not bad. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna get through right away. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see how the traffic is here. We got two vehicles this one and this one. Ah, uh, we'll have to give her. We'll have to give her. Oh, yeah, we'll have to give her. The hazard's on.
I was hoping to get that in just one swing, but it's a little bit of a tight spot, let me tell you. <laughs> She's a little tight back there, yes. Did I hit the cement? Mm, I did, but it's right at the front. I'll back it up like another six inches. It'll be on the concrete there for sure. It's trying to get it in one shot, but when it's that tight of a spot, the smallest little error, and you could bump the next trailer. So I, I had to be sure. It's better safe than sorry. If you look at uh, look at this side here as well, there's lots of room up front here, so I can crank the dollies. It doesn't get in the way of this guy cranking his dollies, and there's room over there for that tr driver to crank those. It's just the back end. The butts are pretty close together back there. That's because somebody parked their trailer crooked. And it wasn't me. My trailer's straight. This one's sort of a little crooked one way, the other one's a little crooked the other way. <laughs> there we go. So that's what it looks like from the back. Little tight. As you can see there, see this trailer angles that way. And this trailer angles that way. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So like I said, uh, tomorrow we're doing the exact same thing, just a little bit earlier. They want me out there for 9 a.m. instead of noon. It means we've got to leave here by 7 a.m. Got to be here, oh, at the latest, 6.30. I gotta get the truck ready, gotta get hooked up. I should probably be here around 6, 6.15, 45 minutes. Just make sure everything goes smoothly. We'll figure that out later. For now, let's just, I gotta move this trailer back another six inches so the landing gear is properly on the, on the concrete there. Put this back in our parking spot, go start up the bike and uh, putter on home. I'm hoping to get a new helmet very soon. I'm just uh, waiting for a few things to happen first. All right, so it was a hot day. Let's go uh, get some highway driving. Oh, it feels better already. Just have that air moving over it. There was hardly a breeze today. Commander, Commander, they're on to us. They're on. They're talking all about us on the news, you know, online. I know. I know. Hiding in plain sight, right? He's a commander of the Galactic Federation. Sneaky, right? Very sneaky. I can share it and no one will believe it. Right? You should see him in his true form. Yeah, I'm all muscly and stuff. I look good. Of course, and they all believe you. Exactly. <laughs> but what if? What if, right? We'll just leave that question hanging. <laughs> yep, so uh, we got home. The dogs are all doing great here. Britt is working into the evening. I think she's training a new person tonight at her job. Or maybe she's just working uh, the evening shift. She should actually be home any time now. It's quarter to nine. Can you believe it? Like, look how, look how bright it is outside. Let's go look into the backyard. We're coming up in a couple of weeks to our longest daylight hour day of the year here in the north. And look at this. It's quarter to nine. Well, I can't really see it because there's too many buildings in this town. Right about there, right behind the house there. 
The sun is in the sky. It's got another couple of weeks where it's going to keep getting higher and higher. And it'll just dip below the horizon at night. But it, it stays light outside till like 11 o'clock at night already. I love this time of year. Absolutely love it. I can't get enough. I wish it could last all year, but, you know. We just can't get the sun to keep circling the same way. It keeps moving. And then Australia hogs it for half the year. I guess they need some sun, too. Diesel. You, man, he, people are going to think you're really weird. Huh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Really? That's all you have to say? They already know I'm weird. That's why they're subscribed. <laughs> they're like, I can't believe a guy like this actually exists. I'm going to subscribe to this channel. He's weird. And you're all welcome. You're all welcome. Hit that subscribe button. We make new videos every day. A lot of times we're trucking. Sometimes we're not. I like to keep it mixed up a little bit. This weekend we went and worked on our land outside of town quite a bit. And uh, hey, tomorrow's Friday. I'm riding the bike into work again. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really hot. Today was only 29 degrees Celsius. All right. Tomorrow is going to be, I think they said 44 with the Humidex or 45. Or maybe it's 40, over 40, and then plus the Humidex. Maybe that's what they're saying. It's going to be like an Australian winter in here. Because during winter, for us, Australia has plus 40. So they know exactly what I'm talking about. The only difference is, in our part of the world, in our part of the Commonwealth, I can walk outside my door and not everything living out there wants to kill me. Actually, I could pretty much just walk through any bush anywhere I want to, where I'm legally allowed to. And be pretty certain I'm not going to get eaten or stung or poisoned by something that'll kill me. We have black bears, but they're more scared of you than you are of them. We have wolves, but they leave you alone as long as you, uh... As long as they're not too hungry. <laughs> At least we don't got big massive spiders and snakes and poisonous stuff. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. What was I talking about? Yeah, that's right, I'm tired. It was a it was a hot day at work. I was gonna get my phone. That's what I'm wandering around here for. Let's get my phone here. I wanna tell you Americans uh, how hot it is in America speak. One second. Okay, so today it was 29 Celsius. So on Google here, I'm gonna go 29C to F. 84.2 degrees Fahrenheit. It was all day today. I was cooking. That's hot for me. Okay, tomorrow, let's say it's going to be 40 Celsius. 40, that means it's going to be 104 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow, plus the Humidex. And I heard some people saying it's going to go up to 44, which is 111.2 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to have to buy myself a sombrero. Man, that's hot. Hopefully I don't melt. I should probably take my cover for my bike along because uh, my bike is always, always kept indoors on stands and I hate leaving it out in the sun. Today after work I went to it and I, I looked at it, I felt so bad. I, was, I, I never leave it out in the sun and this is the longest it's been in the sun probably like since I bought it <laughs> in many, many years. So I think I'll take my cover to work and just cover her up so that the sun doesn't beat down on her all day. I like to take care of her. I like to take care of my stuff. Diesel, hey. Do you have anything more to say? Anything at all? No? You're you pushing on a scooter out there, man. What a weirdo. I know, is that what that's called? Is this a scooter? What are, what, are, what are those things the kids are riding around on nowadays? You know, it's it's not a skateboard, but it's like, a, it's got a handle and it goes down to like this board and then there's wheels on it, like roller blade wheels. I forget what it's called right now. I don't know, Diesel. It's a scooter, man. You weirdos. Is that a mini scooter? I'm gonna Google it now while we're sitting here talking. Scooter. No, that's not scooters. What are they called? Mini scooter? Mini scooter. I'm gonna go to images. Ah, that's what it is. It's a mini scooter. Okay, it's uh, 
These things, all the kids are going crazy over these things. Everyone's got to have a, what do they call it, a kick scooter? A root type R scooter? You can like get them souped up and stuff. Oh, there's a nice one. Diesel, there's a scooter for you. Huh? Huh? No? <laughs> what does this one do? This one doesn't have wheels. That wouldn't be very fun. Oh, there's one for Diesel. <laughs> hey, Diesel, found you the perfect birthday present. Yep. Yeah, you're going to love it. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, everybody.